Hey guys and welcome to the Scale. So in this video, I'll be showing multiple use cases for the newest ChatGPT image generation model. But before I do, let's have a quick test. On the screen, there are two images, two infographics, and I want you to pick which one do you think was created by ChatGPT and which one was created by Ideagram. I'll let you think for a few seconds. And those of you that thought that this was indeed the ChatGPT that created this beautiful infographic, you were right. And this was Ideagram. And if you read through this, I don't see any spelling mistakes at all. Text is intact. The only thing that I would change probably is this made up brand here, but everything else is almost perfect. So to access the new model, you just need to go to ChatGPT, choose the 4.0 model, then create image. And this is going to be our first use case, infographics. All of the prompts are going to be in my free ChatGPT library. And this infographic is going to reference an article that, that we are going to paste. Let me go to SEO writing to one of my generations. Let's just paste this in and let's see what happens. So I haven't given any direction as far as the actual content. I'm just feeding in the article and asking ChatGPT to highlight the most important information and use as little text as possible so it doesn't overuse the text. And this is actually very reminiscent of dial-up internet for those of you old enough to remember when you had modems connecting to the internet. Whenever you wanted to download an image, it would download like this from top to bottom. Is long and safe for dogs to eat. Overview of long and fruit. Small brown fruits with a sweet center. Can dogs eat long and remove pit and shell. So I'm seeing a very tiny typo. This is our dog. Now it's going on about the nutritional value, nutritional profile. And this is an amazing, amazing looking infographic. So this is probably the best I have seen even better than Ideagram for this specific use case. So use case number two is creating simple banners. So as you know, I have a school community where I'm sharing courses, automations, and custom tools, and much, much more than that. So I wanted to see if it can take this basic information and create a very simple ad or a banner. Again, all the prompts are going to be in my free ChatGPT library. And again, the prompt is extremely simple. Based on the bit of information, I help me create visually stunning viral ad that is curiosity-based and conversion-driven. And this is basically the only information that I gave it. And this is what I got. School is live, courses, custom tools, automations, and only 27. <laughs> so I'm liking this simplicity. And you can, with uh, Dolly, uh, this new workflow, you can make it as beautiful as you want, as complex as you want. But I always feel like the simpler approaches win as far as ads. So for the next use case, I'll be using the same uh, school example, but I want to create a meme. Uh, let's go to my custom meme GBD and go suggest a viral meme for the below. Meme format, you will last an hour in the asylum where they raised me and gave me the visual and then the captions. And I've got another variation, so another meme. So let me just grab that, go back to the chat, make sure to activate the create image. Again, we're going to be using an extremely simple prompt, helping create a visually stunning and engaging meme based on the below information. Let's see what happens. So, okay, we got a, a, an image of a travel teen <laughs> with some uh, mock-up of uh, school. And again, let me bring your attention to the fact that all the text is intact, so we can use that. This is noticeable, so I won't be judging the artistic quality, but this is noticeable. Looks like a native ad of sorts. The next use case is going to be that of a featured image. And again, on purpose, I won't be creating anything fancy, just a regular featured image for Candox It Long and Article with a text overlay. And don't worry, I will show you complex stuff later. And again, I have not specified anything about the actual content. So I could have specified that I want to see a dog eating a longan, but it is what it is. And again, a perfectly placed and probably mistake free text. Next up, we are talking digital mockups. So let's just pretend, let's not pretend. I do have a course called Helpful Concept Mastery. And let's just pretend I want a mock-up. So this is a very simple prompt saying create a digital course mock-up for a course titled Helpful Concept Mastery that teaches SEO and AI copywriting to beginners. Okay, and while this is being generated, again, I have not specified that I want a bundle. So maybe I could have said I want a digital bundle. Then it would have shown maybe tablets and books and discs or whatever. But this is a book, looks like a cover of a video course. But again, this is very nice and I can just use it as a lead magnet of sorts. 
for example. This is great for lead magnets as well. Next use case is book covers. So let's just pretend I'm writing a book called Leo and Leona Amazing Adventures. And these are the actual names of my kids. Let's see what happens. So this is amazing. This looks like a real, real book. Next up, I can create visuals for lead magnets. A few videos ago, I created a lead magnet with Cloud 3.7 for the report on how to trade crypto meme coins. So let's just create a cover for a report called How to Identify Low Price Meme Coins with High Upside Potential in 2025. And this is a lot of text. So usually ChatGPT wouldn't be able to write that correctly. So admittedly, this is a terribly long name, but everything is correct. How to identify low priced meme coins with huge upside potential in 2025. And look at the meme coins. So it even depicted some of the meme coins correctly with a nice chart going up. And this looks like a very professional cover for a lead magnet to me. Next one is kind of funny. And I've seen YouTubers getting amazing results with this. I couldn't, but I still wanted to show you this. So this is my picture. And the prompt is going to be create a 16 by 9 YouTube thumbnail with my exact face. For a video titled ChatGPT image model is here. And these kinds of generations, they take a while. Again, this is me. And this seems to be my giant forehead. I like the color scheme. And let's see if this has any similarity with me whatsoever. Hey, okay, eyebrows look on par. Eyes. Very similar. It's usually the nose and the jaw that is different. So up to this point, I would say this is pretty similar. So yeah, you can tell already that this is not me, although a very good effort. So if somebody was making my photo robot, maybe that's what they would end up with. This is me. This is not me. Me, not me. Okay. And everything that is uh, here as far as text, you can easily fix it inside of the chat GPT. And while we are at it, let me show you a, a another use case. Make the t-shirt color on the above image pink. Okay. <laughs> and there you have it. Another one of my multiverse brothers with a pink t-shirt. Next up, I promised to, to show you something very photorealistic and very complex. So this is another use case. Basically, I'm asking for a product demo of a Coca-Cola bottle. And this can be used as a mock-up for any of the products that you are advertising. And here I'm very curious to know what's going to happen because not only do we need the likeness of Coca-Cola there, we also need to, the text to be correct and the logo. And uh, here the prompt is very complex. So it has instructions as far as lighting and texture and color palette and resolution. But I'm already seeing that it's coming off real nice. So guys, this looks amazing. Maybe, just maybe, the logo is not 100% accurate. I'm not sure about these angles here, but the bottle itself, it's amazing. And if you are generating something without the logo, without the text, it's going to do a very good job at that. Look at that. And some ice cubes. Amazing. Last use case is actually the landing page mockup. And I've decided to create something fun. So let's say we have a meme coin called Poop Me Coin, and we have some basic information, some sections like home, about, roadmap, by now, white paper, and so let's see what happens. And I forgot to choose the create image, so my bad. Oh, this is funny. Poop Me Coin turns shit into gold. <laughs> That's good. Oh my god. Actually wondering now if such a coin exists. Turn shit into gold, Poop Me Coin, the meme coin that doesn't stink. No, that's. <laughs> Oh my god, this is funny. Buy Poop Me Now. We are not just another crappy currency. Oh my god. Our mission is to bring fun and absurdity to the crypto world. Token details. Oh, this is very this is very good actually. Token details, centralized exchanges. This is supposedly the own roadmap, the flush, the plunge, and the global splash. Uh, I might actually save this for later. <laughs> So guys, let's do a quick recap. Uh, with the new image model, you can do amazing, amazing infographics, the best I've seen. Then some fun little banners, memes. You can do simple featured images. You can do course mockups. You can create book covers, lead magnet covers. You can kind of create uh, thumbnails with your face on it, but <laughs> this is uh, far off still. <laughs> I like this one better. You can create very complex uh, product shoots, professionally looking. And finally, finally, you can create amazing landing pages like this one. So again, all the prompts are going to be in my free ChatGPT library down below. 
go check out my school community for courses, automations, and custom tools, and I'll see you soon.